जननी शारदा देवी रामकृष्ण जगद्गु पादपद्मी तयो श्रिवा प्रणमा मुहुर्मुहु मै प्रणाम्स टू रेस्पेक्टेड मॉक्स नमस्कार टू ऑल द डिवोटिस पार्टिसिपेंट्स नो सिंस मॉर्निंग यू आर कंटिन्यूसली लिजनिंग टू मेनी लेक्चर्स वंडरफुल लेक्चर्स यू आर टू बेर विथ अस फॉर सम मोर टाइम the subject the topic i am going to speak about is india's spiritual culture can we conceive an idea of culture without spirituality especially for indians we cannot separate culture from spirituality particularly for indians see if you want to build a nation without tool of integration you cannot build a nation you can call you cannot call any nation as a nation people without identifying themselves with their own indigenous culture first you have to understand so culture integrates the people but any country wherever you go how they identify themselves suppose if you go to america western countries or china they have got their own culture chinese culture western culture greek culture egyptian culture there so many cultures whole world but in particular in case of india we have variety of culture see we have to identify with this with the with indigenous culture then only we call ourselves uh, we, are, we are indians we are tamilians we are kannadigas we are telugu people all those we are identifying but in india we have variety of culture from right from kanyakumari to kashmir and kutch to kamarup there so many variety of culture then with so many with variety of culture how can you how we are call ourselves we are indians what makes us to be call ourselves as indian that integrating the tool is spirituality without spirituality we cannot call ourselves as indians we cannot call us we have in our own culture we cannot call ourselves is this our culture because variety of culture language is different so many languages you go to tamil nadu and tamil speak andhra if you go you speak telugu karnataka karnataka is good kannada gujarati marathi bengali so many languages so many customs and traditions the tradition which is followed in southern india totally different tradition in northern india so what what makes us we are call ourselves indians that is spirituality then comes what is spirituality that is swami ji said religion is the backbone of india swami ji said without religion we cannot call it, we cannot call it is an india religion is the backbone of india what type of religion religion swami ji spoke not religion of superstitions not religion of something belief swami ji spoke of religion religion of vedanta thanks to our great sages they discovered the truth what is the truth we are one with reality we are one with that concept of consciousness that consciousness is brahma satya jagan mithya that one ideal ekam sadhi prabho da vadanti so those sages discovered and later saints and sages and philosophers they discovered they invented the techniques to reach to realize that reality so one reality what is that real spiritual what is the goal of life what our sages has told freedom freedom is the goal of life in simple language shri ramakrishna said goal of human life is god realization freedom moksha chaturvida purushartha moksha yo purushartha that is what our scripture says moksha alone is the goal of life to attain that our 
philosopher saints and all our predecessors ancestors they discovered the technique they invented the beautiful technique first they discovered the philosophy the six systems of philosophy that's how came first reality they discovered by sages later on the our philosophers that philosophy is called darshanas shad darshana in sanskrit see general western philosophers West, they don't accept indian philosophy as a philosophy why because philosophy according to western philosophy is a metas- metaphysical speculation but indian philosophy is not a metaf- metaphysical phys- speculation it is darshana what is darshana darshana means seeing the truth darshana means experience the truth yes we also have to be ours is not philosophy is not a speculation it is reality the whole culture our whole indian culture based on the spirituality if you remove the spirituality there is no culture at all for us the spirituality is integrating us this is the tool of integration for the work nation so these these philosophy based on this the first that is they gave us darshanas the six darshanas i am not going into the details of the darshanas just i will just mention about this darshanas what are those darshanas sankhya yoga nyaya vaisheshika purva mimamsa uttara mimamsa this is a vedic tradition non vedic tradition there is jaina bauddha there are two traditions one is orthodox and unorthodox orthodox tradition comes all these six systems unorthodox systems bauddha and jaina this is spiritual i am so i have to speak about spiritual culture you have, you have to bear with you have to understand try to understand this don't feel bored you have to know this because if you don't know suppose tomorrow you are going to america they will ask something about you tell thing something about your spirituality something tell about your spiritual spirituality what will speak one fellow went to america the american asked that person do you know geeta he asked no i don't have any girlfriend by that name he said <laughs> i am not asking you geeta your girlfriend i am asking you geeta bhagavad geeta <laughs> so better to know something about our spiritual our something about culture so that is why i am just i am not going to details if you want to if you are interested you can reach yourself these are orthodox and are not orthodox orthodox sankhya yoga vaisheshika nyaya uttara mimamsa purva mimamsa anarthara jaina bauddha so these two the bauddha and jaina they don't accept authority of vedas but all the systems both orthodox and orthodox they accept there is a misery in this world all the systems they accept you have to get out of this misery get out of this bondage moksha they all these systems accept moksha so based on this the our culture has developed that is why i am telling in the beginning itself if you remove this spirituality there is no culture in india whole thing will be disintegrated there is our great sages they discovered the integrating thread to make a beautiful garland of this culture so then this culture this philosophy ordinary person cannot understand common man cannot understand what to do if is small if you go to any villages small person is all, all whole time he has to be engaged how to earn money how to live but those people also should be uplifted those people also should, should get get out of this bondage what to do they discovered they invented puranas so many puranas 18 puranas stories then itihasa taking the history what happened in the past so the through that they were going to teach the people yes you have to work for liberation you work for liberation so these puranas came and some people they then all ritual started ritualistic worship so people all cannot understand they cannot think about philosophy so there is something practical okay do do puja or do some dhyana do some japa the philosophical they cannot think so that is whole whole thing everything based on the spirituality what is the goal of our culture god realization shri ram what shri ram krishna said god realization 
then what is that what exists according to indian philosophy according to our tradition suppose you go and ask sri ramakrishna does god exist what sri ramakrishna will tell god only exists nothing else god only exists you don't exist that is what our tradition said brahm satya jagan mitya jeevo brahm eva naparaha you are said god for that reason sri ramakrishna simple with all those traditions you know we have become so lazy even we are lazy to do perform puja also so what to do all all the do some some people do they are all proud of the service okay you do service not have any proud about i'm doing service shiva gnani jeeva seva sharva the people see by doing service you don't get realization shri ram krishna never said like this don't think that by doing service you will get realization you do service because there is god is there you are serving god that is not the means it is a goal it is not goal of serving is not the goal See, if anybody thinks here ram krishna is a social organization don't don't me don't do mistake that ram krishna mission is not a social organization it is a spiritual organization all our services are aimed to realize god that is what swami vekan did atpano mokshartam jagat hita yacha so long ago uh, i may uh, one of that saint thomas church convent one sister invited me i went there during our conversation the sister also asked then diocese of uh, that particular region father also was there during our conversation uh, that sister i told that now she is in texas she expect no our sri ram krishna mission is the first mission starting missionary activities then i contradicted no it is not started missionary activity start not started by christian missionary it is started by buddhist i told and so slowly their conversation further turned towards charity so they she was telling you are doing lot of services in schools colleges orphanages and old age homes then i told yes ramkrishna mission is doing running schools colleges hospitals it is unfortunate and inevitable i told so surprised what is your strange perplexed i told it is unfortunate and inevitable it is a need of the but it is not our goal i said why swami ji are telling me like this yes see in our olden days even before innovation to india our ancestors they prescribed the dharma what is the dharma in upanishads it is there in veda it is there matru devo bhava pitru devo bhava acharya devo bhava atithi devo bhava if all the grahasthas followed that matru devo bhava pitru devo bhava if they respect the pair with their, their parents as the god where is the question of old age homes there is no question of old age homes not necessary no old age is required i told her then she started thinking okay the relation between a student and teacher is good there is the question of business in the name of education gurukul system was there nobody was deprived of education that was the system in india because serving guru is seeing god he is enlightening us the service should be empower us the idea of service in ramakrishna mission swami vekananda gave to empower the people not to make them poor not them victim of the poverty victim of difficulties that is what swami ji gave that idea the ugliest dimension of service what is that throw people into the ditch and then go in service that is the ugliest dimension of service that is not the service that is not service swami ji gave idea of service to empower the people the whole world whole wealth of the world will not be sufficient for one village unless and until the people are taught how to stand on their own self that is what swami ji said so that is the idea how where that from swami ji gave this idea it is coming from the spiritual ideal brahma satya jagat mitya all are god that's what swami said each soul is potentially divine the goal is to determine its divinity within swami ji said that means you are serving to the people seeing god in man that is the spiritual tradition of our india that is why they gave what is that dharma 
So it's all these things, spirituality based, Brahma Satya, Jagan Mitya, what all those things, are, what is written in scripture, okay. First to attain that, what require, what is requirement, prerequisite for moksha, prerequisite for realization, dharma. What is dharma? Each one has to follow their duty, Grahastha dharma, Brahmacharya dharma, Vanaprastha dharma, Sanyasa dharma, all these dharmas lead to realization. That is the purpose. So when I told her, when, when the people give respect to their parents, no need of orphanages, no need of old age homes, no need of education system, they all will be get they will not nobody will be deprived of education. And Atiti Deva Baba, when Atiti Deva comes, Atiti doesn't mean that guest, you cannot translate it to English. Atiti means uninvited guests without Titi Vara Nakshatra. That is called Atiti. So, person comes suddenly, they come, he, he, he orphan person, some calamity will happen. He comes for help. Some education, education help required. He is also Atiti. So, serve them not as easy, not out of mercy. Seeing God in him. So, all the activities of Ramakrishna mission, all the activities time from time immortal from the Vedic period onwards, this is the basis. Spirituality is the foundation of our culture. So, India's spiritual culture, if you remove spirituality, there is no culture. Similarly, that is why what we, we as an Indian, as an Indian, What is our identity? You have to identify yourself with Vedic tradition. You have to identify yourself with this Upanishad teachings. Without remove this idea, then there will not be no, we cannot call ourselves we are Indians. There is no India at all. There will not be any India. No more India. That is why, if you what only that, once you lose your identity, you are ruining ourself. There is a story, beautiful story, though it is a out of subject, but it is definitely is applicable. There is a conversation between Parvati and Shiva. They are discussing each other. Then during their conversation, uh, Shiva said, See, Ravana is a Mahapapi, great sinner. Then Parvati became perplexed. What Mahadeva, you are talking like this? Ravana is a Mahabhakta, your beloved devotee, and his great Mahabrahmana is a great Pandit. But you are talking about Ravana is a Mahapapi. What is this? Then Shiva said, Wait, wait, I will tell you. Please wait. There are three types of sins. One is sin, ordinary sin. With knowingly or unknowingly, we commit certain mistakes, certain sins. So, those sins are pardoned, those sins are excused. The second type of sin is there that is Ati Papa. Ati Papa means abducting woman and misbehaving with woman, murder, all sorts of things. Then, immediately Parvati came in, interrupted. Then, Ravana comes in second day, second category. Wait, wait, I am not completed. Please wait. Don't be impatient, Shiva said. Yes, those high heinous crimes also pardoned. Heinous crimes also excused. But what Ravana has done is great crime, great mistake he has done. He abducted Sita Devi, Mother Sita. With, with hiding his own identity. Not only he, he brought disgrace for himself, he disgraced all the tradition of sadhus. In the garb of sadhu he went and abducted. If he has committed that sin with his own identity, he would have definitely would escape from this heinous crime. Till the completion of this cycle of creation, he will not get mukti, he said. So, why this story I am applying this? If you, we Indians, if you 
give up your identity if you do if you don't identify yourself this culture not only you are giving harm to the society you are harming yourself if you being indian we have to respect our culture what is that culture this culture is founded on spirituality everyone should strive for that whether now whether we will get mukti now or tomorrow we don't bother just this is should be the goal that is what that is the idea behind all our systems all our traditions so long ago before joining to ramakrishna mission i visited by belur halebiru the king hoysala kings they built beautiful temples beautiful sculpture if you see wonderful sculpture and uh, roof of the temple the so many t- sculptures are the beautiful young women sculptures are there beautiful carvings every beautiful carving behind the gods and goddesses uh, statues are there that sculpture is very beautiful then i first why every beautiful culture, the government the young women uh, 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 sculpture is there behind that gods and goddesses it is hiding so all those gods and goddesses statues are hiding behind this beautiful culture but at, at that time i did not understand later and slowly i came to know see beautiful temple is built behind all gods and goddesses the what it represents all the beautiful creation is emerged from the one, one reality so that whole temple is teaching us whole temple is represent that great philosophy later on i understood as in, as you enter inside the temple you will just you will be surprised to see beautiful sculptures and in you enter the beautiful statue of shri krishna lord krishna much more wonderful much more beautiful than outside so as you go inside the main main deity lord chanakeshwa temple chanakeshwa statue of chanakeshwa the much more beautiful so when you this culture this tradition when you follow you are, you should not be struck up with this creation ultimately you have to strive for that beautiful thing what is that beautiful sachidananda asti bhati priya the sachidananda the word there another term used in upanishad asti bhati priya that is most priya most beautiful what is that beautiful you are the atman you are the brahman the most beautiful you are divine that is what our tradition vedic tradition has given and same shri ramakrishna said what is it shiva when you serve people shiva gnane jeeva seva what swami vijaya swami ji said each soul is potentially divine goal is to manifest divinity within if you understand this then really we are the proud indian you can call us a proud indians otherwise we forget about our religion we forget about our culture then just like ravana we will not have any mukti we will not get any liberation for this country we will be slave of our westerners that's all that's what i want to present before you thank you very much